Welcome to the feature of the week. Today, we will talk about creating HTML5 publications. How do you export your print layouts web-friendly? With HTML5 publications, it's easy. Have a look. This is a print layout in Quark Express. Just a small brochure with four pages, facing pages even. And I want to now export that to HTML5. The easiest to do is you just choose your print layout, you choose duplicate, and then instead of duplicating that as a print layout, you duplicate that as a digital layout. Of course, you can choose different sizes here, like a pre-canned iPad or iPhone or Android device. I'm just going to leave it the way Korg Express is suggesting me to export that. I'll click OK, and you can now see that I have a digital layout. It still looks very much like your print layout. So if I turn on guides, you can see that it's text boxes, it, it's picture boxes with images in there. And what you can do is you can use all of the styling that you know for print. How will this look like when I export that? The easiest to see that is by clicking down here on this little button at the document edge, preview HTML5 publication. I'm going to do that. Express is going to create a temporary file for me, and you can see how your viewers will see that. There's my first page. Let's just use the cursor keys or the mouse to move on, and you can see there's my second and third page with a spread, and you can see text stays text, so that's very friendly for screen readers or anybody having accessibility requirements. There's also some things that Quark Express adds, for example, the scrubber bar down here. So if I click on that, you can see that it moves on to the next page. So this is great. This is really how I expected this to be. And of course, if my browser gets smaller, you can see how this scales. And if a spread doesn't fit anymore, you can also see that Quark Express HTML5 publications are now showing single pages instead of spreads. There's a lot you can customize. However, what I want to do now is I want to have some interactivity. So Though it's very easy to export a Core Express print layout as HTML5 publications, the only thing you really have to watch out for is the fonts, because fonts are being embedded in HTML5 and therefore they either need to be true type or open type fonts. And of course, they shouldn't have a flag that they can't be embedded. But other than that, it's really easy with a few clicks you export an HTML5 publication. However, it's very static. Some, this might be enough. Others might want to have some more interactivity. And let's add that. So if I want to have an animation here, all I need to do is I go to my HTML5 palette. I open that and I have my image, my item selected here. I click on animation. What kind of animation? Fly in from the right. Autoplay means it will play once the page is being displayed. Interaction means that the user can also start that. I don't want that. And then there's some settings here. How long should the animation happen? Five seconds. You can also see that your item here got the little symbol to show you that this is interactive. So I have my, inter my animation created. And the next thing I want to do is maybe I also want to have a slideshow. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a picture box here. I will make that picture box a slideshow. And now I need to add some files in here. Let's maybe get these, open them. You can see Quark Express places them in here. So I have four images in one box. Like this, I can adjust that. And I can also specify options again. For example, after eight seconds, I'm going to see the next image. I also want an animated pan and zoom effect in here. And for that, I'm just specifying my start and my stop state. So let's maybe do this like this. So 
this is going to zoom over eight seconds and kind of pan it a bit. And I can do that for my second image differently than for my first image. A lot of things I can do. But let's have a look at this first, how this will look like. So I'll preview this again. It's exporting now all pages, including the images and making the images web friendly. You can see on my first page, my animation comes in and this works with any modern browser. So with Chrome, with Safari, with Firefox, on Mac, on Windows, and even newer versions of Internet Explorer. I go to my second and third page and what you can see now, I have my slideshow that is zooming in, panning, and now after eight seconds going to the next image that I've specified. How do I export that now? If I'm in Quark Express, all I need to do is I need to go to File, Export as, HTML5 publication, and then I can choose some options and also customize the appearance of the HTML5 publication. But that's a topic for another feature of the week.